teaching English first lesson a day in the ashrama written by C.F. Andrews in this lesson C.F. Andrews describes his experience while he stayed in the ashrama called Shantiniketan which was founded by Ravindranath Tagore who is a Nobel laureate and great writer of our country and he received a Nobel Prize for his work Gitanjali and he is the person who has written national anthem before going to know about the lesson, let us know about the author C.F. Andrews. So I want to tell you about C.F. Andrews. Listen to me carefully and look into the book. C.F. Andrews was born in 1871 and died in 1940 was an English priest of the Church of England. He was an educator and Indian freedom fighter. He became Mahatma Gandhiji's closest friend and associate. Andrews reveals his experience while he stayed in the ashrama. Shantiniketan was founded by Ravindranath Tagore. It is a school with a difference where students learn with the great joy. So totally C.F. Andrews what he says he says about the beautiful experience he had while he stayed in Shantiniketan and as well as he explained about the beauty of Shantiniketan in this lesson and along with this he also told about the students, the children, how they learn how the children of Shantiniketan are given education. So all these things he has clearly explained in this lesson a day in the ashrama. Now I am going to read first two paragraphs. Listen to me carefully and try to understand what I read. Now the first paragraph. Words cannot picture to you the beauty of Shantiniketan. Our own poet and teacher whom we call Gurudeva has named it in his song the darling of our hearts and it is worthy of the name. All who have visited the ashram old and young alike have felt its inner beauty growing more and more upon them. Second paragraph If I were to describe to you one day in the ashram with the boys that would perhaps best bring home to you its inner beauty. Long before sunrise like the birds in our own Amloki grows, our boys are awake. The childsters are the first to rise and they go around the ashram singing their morning hand. You can hear the voices in the distance drawing nearer and nearer and then the sound dies away as the 
Coir passes on to another part of the ashrama and then again it comes nearer and nearer. The beauty of the sound in the silent morning air and the sense of joy and deliverance which it brings give peace to the soul. So these are the two paragraphs that I have read for you people. Now let us know the meanings of some of the difficult words that are given in the lesson. That are given in the lesson. So for example, first one, choristers. Choristers means members who sing in the choir of a church. People who sing devotional song or prayer song in a church are known as choristers. Choir, a group of singers singing hand. Choir means a group of singers singing hand. So hand means a song of praise to God. A song of praise to God. Next one, reverence. Reverence means respect. Respect. So these are the some of the words, difficult words. Now, let us also know about it. opposite words. Beauty. Beauty, it is a noun. So adjective form of beauty is beautiful. Opposite of beautiful, beautiful is ugly. Opposite of more is less. Opposite of worthy is unworthy. Opposite of first is lost. Opposite of end is old. Opposite of long is short. Opposite of near is far. Opposite of before is after. Opposite of sunset is sunrise is sunset. So there are the some of the opposite words that you find in these two paragraphs. So now I am going to explain you the first paragraph, afterwards the second paragraph. Words cannot picture to you the beauty of Shanti Ketan. So what our author says is the beauty of a Shanti Ketan is not possible to describe in mere words. So there are no words to describe the beauty of Shanti Ketan. So Shanti Ketan is very beautiful. It's a school, it's a place where the atmosphere is very fine. So it's very beautiful. So he wants to say that there are no such words. There are no words to describe or to explain the beauty of Shanti Ketan. And he also says that our own poet and teacher whom we call Gurudeva. So here Gurudeva refers to Rabindranath Tagore who is a poet as well as teacher. Rabindranath Tagore whom we call Gurudeva has written a poem. In that poem he has mentioned Shantiniketan as, as the darling of our arts. The darling of our arts. So here in this paragraph, Ravindranath Tagore has referred Shantiniketan as uh, the darling of our arts. So that is the beauty of uh, Shantiniketan. And it is worthy of the name. So whatever name that was given by Ravindran Tagore is worthy. That means the darling of our arts is a suitable name to Shantini Ketan. And he, he continues this. All who have visited the ashram, old and young alike, have felt its inner beauty growing more and more upon 
from them. Those who visit the Dashtama, Shanti Niketan, they feel very happy to see the beauty of Shanti Niketan. Whether it is young people or old people, whoever it may be, those who visit or those who visit the ashrama, the school, they feel very happy. So, they feel uh, its inner beauty growing more and more upon them. So, even though they go home, they remember the beauty of uh, Shantini Ketan. They recall the beauty of Shantini Ketan. So, in the first paragraph, CF Andrews has described about the beauty of Shantini Ketan. Now, second paragraph. Chain. If I were to describe to you one day in the ashrama with the boys, that would perhaps best bring home to you its inner beauty. Long before sunrise, like the birds in our own Amdoki grass, our boys are awake. The choristers are the first to rise and they go around the ashrama singing their morning hymn. So once uh, C.F. Andrews stayed in the ashram, ashram of Shantini Ketan. While he stayed in the ashram of Shantini Ketan, he enjoyed a beautiful experience. So what he says, when he, when, while he stayed in the ashram with the boys, he enjoyed a lot. And he says that the boys of Shantini Ketan, they get up early in the morning. Early in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning. And he has compared the boys of Shantini Ketan to the birds, to the birds that are found on trees called Amloki trees. Okay? So, as the birds get up early in the morning, in the same way, the boys in the ashrama, they get up early in the morning. So, he has made a comparison between the boys as well as the birds. So, such a comparison is called simile. Simile, it is a figure of speech. Next, uh, the choristers are the first to rise. Choristers means a group of uh, singers. So, they are the first people to get up early in the morning. So, after getting up, what they do? They go around the ashram. So, what they do? They go around the ashram. So, while going, what they do? They sing their morning hymn. While going around the ashram or ashram, they sing their morning hymn. So, hymn means it is nothing but a devotional song or a song of praise to God. So, they go around the ashram, they sing the song. So, the beauty of the sound in the silent air. So, early morning, early morning, you can find a, a very good uh, atmosphere, fantastic atmosphere, a silent, calm atmosphere which would bring a pleasure to mind. In such a atmosphere, these people Choristers, they go around the ashram and sing, and as well as they sing the song, devotional song, prayer song. So the sound of that song brings brings peace to the soul, peace to the soul. And the people who hear the song, they feel the song. Uh, huh? Okay, they feel the song and. They feel happy, happy, or they get happiness when they hear the song. So, in this way, 
C.F. Andrews has explained the beauty of Shantini Ketan as well as who are the first people to get up early in the morning, what do they do in the morning, the morning.